Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, January 10th, 2019. And today, in our Tech News, well, as the Windows updates for the patch Tuesday of this week seem to be rolling out quite well for Windows 8 and Windows 10 users, it seems it's not the same on Windows 7. Users that share file using the SMB version 2 protocol say that it breaks their file sharing. And you've got two choices here. You can roll back, and when you remove the updates, it actually comes back to normal. But if you don't want to roll back, and I don't suggest that you roll back because of some of the security problems in here, um, there's a registry fix for it. If you search on the internet, there is just a little registry fix that actually brings back the file sharing. LinkedIn China, of course, will obey Chinese rules and Chinese laws. Like many other websites, uh, LinkedIn will now require Chinese citizens to have their phone numbers linked to their accounts. And of course, the reason behind this is to make sure that you can track everybody. Well, <clears throat> the Bloomberg news of the um, Facebook app that you can't uninstall from a Samsung phone, and I, of course, went to check it out on my side also, is closer to fake news than anything else for the reason simple reason is that the app they refer to is a samsung app that proposes that you might install facebook it's not a facebook app at all and so a lot of what has been said is closer to fake news than anything else the facebook app itself is uninstallable on every samsung phone and there's no problem with that Microsoft research of artificial intelligence looks pretty, pretty good. A job um, report looking at, you know, the companies and the type of jobs that we're looking for, or the, the employees they're looking for. Well, in 2018 alone, Microsoft posted 2,000 different job openings for AI research. So I guess AI is an important part of Microsoft's future. This is the new Radeon 7 graphics card, and basically from AMD, it's the first na 7 nanometer uh, graphics card that they have. It's interesting to see that NVIDIA was quick to say, oh, you know what, um, basically this is uh, not a, um, this is not very powerful and blah, blah, blah. Of course, you know, the uh, NVIDIA versus the um, versus the um, AMD Radeon, um, you know, graphics cards. Or There's always been some rivalry there, and I think competition is a good thing anyway. A interesting study conducted in the U.S. asks one simple question. Do you think artificial intelligence is a good thing, a bad thing, and what do you think? Well, in a, a poll that was from the Oxford Polling Institute, 41% of U.S. citizens polled see AI as a positive thing for the future. 28% don't really have any idea if it's good or bad. And 22% are strongly opposed and fear the consequences. So uh, we'll see the future. Who shares the most fake news? And it's very interesting because the study here from the journal Science Advances has been looking at, is it your political view? What exa exactly drives fake news? And uh, they actually noted something interesting. Elderly people, 65 or older, are the ones that share the most fake news. 11% of the fake news comes from that age group. And uh, if you go down the range to 18 to 29 very generation, well, only 3% of fake news there. Kind of interesting. And before we move to this, uh, announcement, uh, Jensen Wang, NVIDIA's CEO, says that while showing the latest RTX 2060 graphics card, he just said that Moore's Law is officially dead. We have reached a limit in the shrinking of electronics, and now the future will be different way of thinking for tech. So Moore's Law is closer and closer to being dead. You know, this was pretty much announced um, many times in the past couple of years because we have basically gone down to a limit of the physics around all the electronics. 
And finally, waiting for the next generation Samsung phone. You're waiting for that S10 to come out to maybe buy one. It seems that it will be announced at the Samsung's Unpacked event in San Francisco on February 20th. And of course, everybody will be looking at this and seeing what innovation will be in that phone. And this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.